everyone. Welcome back. Thanks for joining me on the weekly worm update. This is a super quick worm video because this week there really wasn't much happening with any of the worm bins. As it's getting warmer, the bins are getting wetter for the regular totes. So I am managing that moisture level increase by slowly adding cardboard where I see fit. In the trash can style bin, this bin is definitely wetter than the other bin that is the regular tote. So I know I'm going to have to go through this bin and fluff it up. I haven't decided whether or not I need to add any additional cardboard before or when I do fluff it up. But overall, the worms really do enjoy this wetter style bin. I'm a little um, uncomfortable with them being super wet because it makes harvesting pretty awkward and longer but the worms enjoy it so i won't do too much to try to prevent what is naturally occurring over on the first vermi bag tote this tote was harvested as well and it's not as dry but it's definitely wetter than the other bin but the worms are enjoying it as well in here I can definitely say from when I first started until now, the process of restarting bins was a lot tougher and I always had worms that were chilling on the sides, but I don't typically have that anymore. The second regular tote is the finished product from the breeder bin. I am going to say it was a success as I do have quite a few worms in here. There's some just chilling on some of the food remains. So I think I did save this colony. It did take about a year though to see the results. So it wasn't a short uh, process at all. And it required some outside of the box thinking. I will restart my breeder bin at some point. I'm just not going to be doing that for the foreseeable future, especially not the summer. And lastly, the vermi bag mini that I have. So when I opened this bin up, I saw some fruit flies come out and the uh, beetle population was definitely more visible than it has been. Again, I don't know if it has to do with the summertime, but I am going to make sure that I put some of the grit on top of my bedding here because I really don't want that bug population to get out of control. And then this bin as well was finished up. So like I said, really quick because there wasn't much going on in the bins. Thank you so much for staying with me and watching my videos week to week as I go through the process of worm composting. I really do appreciate you viewing my content. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy. And as always, thanks for watching. Oh.